everybody, Hallie here. Welcome to the No New Starts Whip Parade 2021 Part 2 video. If you saw the original video, this is the second part and this is the part that went wonky. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. Hopefully breaking it into vid two videos will solve all of our problems. Enjoy the show. Okay, here is where we are currently at. This is where I'm at at the end of this year. Hopefully I'll be inserting a picture so you can see where I started. Let's talk about what I've gotten done this week. I had this part of this motif and this uh, edge here. So I went ahead and did on around, got everything inside, got this guy, this guy, the bells, did the heart. This is the end of a page right here. Uh, I did come down because I wanted to finish that motif with that thread. Um, but I am working across. I've got a uh, page. This is page three. And then I've got uh, like a quarter page over here. So super fun. Um, like I said, I'm stitching this on 28 count white opalescent. Uh, it's just a yarn tree. Um, grab this that fell on the floor. Um, fabric, I am stitching it with two colors. The colors I am using are Ribbon Red from Classic Color Works and Blue Spruce from Classic Color Works. Or, I'm sorry, The Gentle Arts. So, those all go back in there. I love that one. Um, I uh, got introduced to that one back in the day when Blit Stitch. Um, was stitching it and uh, instantly went out and found it um, just so that I could stitch it. Okay, um, the next one I have for you, there was a bunch of these um, little ornaments that I did from Shannon Christine Designs. Um, And the majority of them I uh, that were on my list, I have finished. You will see those in the finished video towards the end of the year. This is the only one I didn't get to. Uh, meet me under the mistletoe. And I'll be quite honest, the reason is because all of this Krynik, um gold. I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I want to finish this. But I'm not going to do all that. So I need to find a nice gold color uh, that I can stitch this up with because I'm just, I'm not going to do that. So this is where I started um, and I have no progress on this one. So uh, there'll probably be no picture, but um, I was able to finish all the others. So um, I guess I should have included that in the one I didn't get any any touch on but I my goal is to finish that for next year um, with a different color thread other than uh, the metallic so okay then we had you guys have seen this quite a bit um, this is the uh, Stony Creek um, Halloween Village Collector Series Afghan um, horrible picture on the front but that's okay and I'm not going to take this one out of the Q-snap because this is a bear. Once you get it in, I mean, once you get it in, I'm not taking it out. I am. It's in right now, and we're going to just go with it when I pick it up to stitch next time. So I will insert a picture um, from the start of the year, and I will insert a picture of the last time I took a picture before I moved the Q-snap to this location, what it looked like so you will be able to see the progress. So I was uh, very pleased with the progress on that um, this year. And this one is so big, it doesn't really live in a cute, or doesn't really live in a bag. Uh, it kind of lives in a drawer, quite honestly, uh, in the room that I stitch. So, um, here is this sweet little Christmas bag. And 
This is another full coverage. This is an artisy pattern called Red is Ravishing. This is another one of those that is super confetti up in the corner where I am. So it may be one that I try to do a little more parking on as well uh, the next time I pull it out. I am stitching this on 18 count easy grade fabric, two over one. And I will insert the picture so you can see where I started and where I am currently at. So um, I like this one. I need to get some flow going on this one. Um, Cause I think if I get into a good rhythm with it, it won't take me that long. It's not that big. Hold on, I need a drink. Everybody, pause, take a drink. Okay, much better, thank you. Uh, next one, let's look at this gorgeous bag. I love this bag. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This project is not one I spent a lot of time on. I started it for no new starts because I knew I was going to finish up another Glendon place. I finished up that um, Bird of Paradise. I knew that one was really close and I wanted to have the next uh, Glendon place on tap. So I went ahead and got this going for No New Starts. Um, this is Flowers of the Holy Night uh, by Glendon Place. I am stitching this on 28 count antique white jubilin. Um, it's what it's the called for. So I just did the call for. And this is the one you guys, I have told you repeatedly. Cause look, when I pulled it out, I held it up the wrong direction. Cause I don't know. And we've talked about this and talked about this every time I pull it out, every time I do one of these mandalas where everything goes in a circle and it's all very similar, you must put your up arrow. You must put your up arrow so you know which direction it's going so that all your stitches will go the correct direction. So. Hopefully they'll get a little more love um, on this um, project for next year. Not a priority. Uh, probably won't even come out at this holiday because um, I'm really working, getting the call from those other two. So uh, I am getting a little call from this guy too, this next project. So you may see some of this hopefully by the end of the year for Christmas as well. This project bag holds uh, the Little House Needleworks um, Hometown Holiday Series. This just happens to be one of them. I think I have six left to do. This is uh, the pet store, but there are six more that I have not done. So I am stitching this. I had seen this um, in a um, LNS. And they had it finished, um, like a little uh, flat fold, um, with each each store finished by itself or each uh, pattern finished by itself, almost like a little village. Um, and that's my mom used to have a little village, and so it just it sparked that memory in me. Um, I generally am not. Um, a primitive stitcher. So this was a bit of a departure for me. <laughs> um, but I love it and I want to get it finished so I can get my village maybe done for next year. That would be really nice. So let me run through. I had three of these done when I started. Um, I had this guy done, this guy, the firehouse, and the little home. Those were the three I had done. The three I finished were the bookstore, the carolers, and the school. So I gotta scoot way back for you to be able to get the whole thing in. And hopefully I'll be putting up a uh, picture so you can see the first three. So I have six, six more to go, six more to go, so I've got I've got the other side um, and the goal will be to um, get them done and get them put together. 
Um, and like I said, you may see uh, one or maybe even two of these because they're quick. They're super, super quick. Um, and it's, it's sometimes it's a nice break, uh, particularly if I keep working on Spirit Santa. That may be a nice break uh, from the full coverage. Okay. Next project lives in uh, this kind of tarot card um, bag. And this is uh, the Prairie Moon. Thine is the Trick and the Treat. Love this. I am, this is the one that uh, the fabric is really, really hard to see on camera. It's gorgeous in person. Um, really hard to see on camera. Um, this is stitched on 28 count Gladiolus from Fortnite Fabrics. It is stitched two over two full cross and it's basically all done in 310. So here is where I currently am. Hopefully you'll be seeing a picture of where I was. So I've gotten good progress on this this year. So I've been very, very happy. Uh, it's an easy stitch when, when you need that break. Um, this is a good one. This color, well, that's a pretty good. It's so orange, but it's got white in it too. It's got splotches of white. And so it really reminds me of um, like the dreamsicles that we used to have as kids. Um, that's what I think of when I see that color. So, and that one is certainly close enough. That one could be a finish for next year. Okay, in this bag, now this is crazy because this is a winter bag. There's not a winter project in here. So, you know, I could be switching some of these around so they're a little more appropriate. But, you know, once you get them in a bag, I don't, it's like my brain has it in there and I don't want to switch it. This is another Glendon Place. This is another mandala that I absolutely adore. Uh, this one stitches up so fast. So nice. This is Helianthus, uh, the sunflower mandala. Love this one. I am uh, stitching this um, on 28 count Tycho. Let me find my up arrow. Oh, wait, I know. In this one, this little tag is my up arrow. And I wrote that on there, that's how I know. So there's my up arrow, because you guys know, as I told you, when you do these mandalas, you absolutely need to have that. And so this one is all stitched correctly. There is a ton of beads, that whole middle is gonna be beads, and those pieces are gonna be beads. But that is where I currently am. Hopefully you're seeing a picture of where I was. Um, Good progress on this one. We will keep um, working on this one. I don't know that I can get it finished. There's still quite a bit to do, um, but I could certainly get that big, get the big sunflower part done and then have this outside border uh, for the next year. So that may be my, I, don't, I haven't designated every goal yet, um, particularly for some of these lesser important projects. So. We will keep going. Oh, I want to show you this one. Love this bag. This is Long Dog Samplers Castles in the Air. You guys have seen this if you've been with me before. Um, again, this is one of those fabrics. I wish you could see it in person. It's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Um, it is, what is it called? It is just 32 count silver, um, but this silver has a purple hue to it. And so this, um, and it's hard to see that this is purple, but um, it's called Royal Purple. Royal Purple? Yeah, Royal Purple. Um, and it's got a lot of purple and a lot of navy in it. And it just pops on this silver that has that undertone to it. So hopefully you're seeing where I was at and where I currently am. 
I've had good progress on this one. I will keep working again. It's another one of those reprieves from full coverage that's just, you know, single color. There's not a lot, there is variegation, but I don't have to worry about controlling the variegation in this one. It's just load it up and stitch it out. So. Okay. You guys have seen this one fairly recently. This is a uh, red maple fairy. Um, artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, um, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. You guys, when you see this, I was still on this side of her. I have now moved over, no, I'm sorry. I was on this side of her and that's what I was stitching on. Um, and that's what the before picture we'll see. Currently, I'm not gonna take it out of the cue snap because it's hard to get back in, but what I am currently working on is this side of her head. So just know there's been good progress. You can see her, her she continues on this way, but that is currently where I'm at. Um, and I will have, I do, I do, do have a picture that I might even insert down here of where I was when I took, uh, before I took the cue snap, um, before I changed the cue snap. So I will work on editing that so you guys can hopefully get a view of exactly how much I've gotten done. But there's been good progress um, done on her this year. Um, and I would say she is probably, I don't know about a focus piece, but she is one that I definitely gravitate to. Um, I think I told you, did I tell you 28 count? Easy grid, I think it's 28 count. Yeah, I'm sorry. 18 count, 18 count, easy grid, two over one. So, and I like that, makes it easy. So this is my only, my one and only non garon tote bag, bag. It's the only one with a zipper. So if you don't like zippers, so sorry. Um, but that is where we are. I, Here's where it is in the cue snap. This is, I'm sorry, let me show you what it, sh what it should look like. This is Golden Gate Avenue by Cooler Classic Charts, Cooler Design Studio. This one is a computer mock, computer rendering. Nothing like the stitched, nothing like the stitched. So gorgeous, so gorgeous in the stitched. I've obviously gotten this guy, this guy, and I have half of this next one. Hopefully I will insert a picture here so you can kind of see it all out of its cue snap. Um, I'm finishing up the back stitch in these and then I need to go finish that bottom. I had hoped to get this uh, finished. I'm stitching this on 25 count. Um, no, that's Cookie Fairy. Wrong one in there. I'm stitching this on 16 count uh, white fabric from Stash, two over one with back stitch as one. So I'd hope to get this one done this year. I really did. Um, so it may be an early finish next year. Um, I just don't feel like working on it right now with the holidays. I'd rather work on my Christmas pieces. So that's probably why we're not gonna get a finish on this. Here's Cookie Fairy. Here she is. Da, 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 da. This one, you guys, I put I know I have over 30,000 stitches in this. Let me look. I have been purposely keeping track of her um, because my goal, I used this project for the 21,000 in 2021 um, goal. And um, so I was keeping track. And when I hit 21,000, I said, I'm just gonna keep going. And my goal was then became 30,000. I reached that in November with 30,718 stitches on her. I'm hoping she's gonna come out a little bit here in December, uh, maybe before the new year, cause I would really, I am so super close in finishing up this little bit. I mean, most of this is like very similar colors. I need to finish up a little bit of that um, and, and a little bit of random stitches. So this one probably needs to come out um, cause I would really love to start the new year moving over, but this is the one that I was super excited. So you could really get a good view 
of what 30,000 stitches looks like. There should be a before picture somewhere up here and then you're after. So love this one. This one is still my priority piece. I am really close to about 45%, 45-46% done in Pattern Keeper. Um, I can't finish her next year, obviously, but in the next couple years to have her done would be, it would be my first hate finish. So that's why she's a priority. Oh, let me show you the bag she's in. Cause my God, the bag is gorgeous. Love this bag. So she's just a little too big. I can't quite get it to with the Velcro, but that's okay. It's all good. This is a gorgeous bag as well. Love this one. Little Christmas ornaments. This is my Christmas Snow Friends banner. This is a Stony Creek Collection um, pattern. This is my oldest whip. Well, yeah, this one's my oldest whip. Cookie Fairy is pretty close. I had started Cookie Fairy back in the day when she was um, on paper only. And I had gotten the whole first page done. And then when Pattern Keeper came through, I said, I want to continue this. I know it's in there. So I went to get it and I had actually measured it wrong. So I'm glad I didn't continue. I'm glad I stopped, looked at it, remeasured. I was off. So I restarted it and I wanted to do it. I was doing it two over, two over two, no, two over one. And I wanted to do it one over one on 25 count. And I wanted to use the easy grid. I was just using regular fabric and I wanted to have that extra grid to help me make sure I had things in place. So that one has been redone, restarted. Um, it's probably the only project I've ever restarted. I don't restart much. Um, and I wasn't, I had done this, I had set it aside, and then I decided to include it in my no new starts. And you guys, I went, went really, really good on this one. I had started um, with T, which is not quite finished. You can see I don't have a space in. I had done T, S, and I. That's where I was. Oh, I had a little bit of I. So you'll see that picture here. And now you can see I got all the way up to the top. Everything is back stitched all the way down. I've got to put the leave in here, and then I can move down the back stitch and finish up this guy here. So, um, so this one is definitely, sorry, I gotta get my cue snap that I dropped. Um, this one's definitely on the horizon for a finish next year. So, and that would definitely be a priority of my non full coverage items to make sure that one gets a finish. Cause after that, there's only three more letters left. After I do the back stitch on the S and the T, on the S and the T, I've only got three more letters. If I make it a priority, I can knock it out. Do you ever have too many priorities? Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, I can get things. I can come up with more stitching time. That's all. That's always what I need. Next guy. Oh, I forgot to show you the bag. Heaven forbid. Okay. Love this guy, too. This is Long Dog Samplers Pandemic. You guys know it, love it, hate it. I've seen everybody stitch it. I am doing this um, on a 20 count deep red that was dyed specifically uh, for this project by XU Designs. And I am stitching it with uh, PS95 Steel Silk from XG Designs. So she also did the silk uh, color that I am stitching, that silvery color. And then I am doing the animals in the black accent. So hopefully you'll be seeing a picture of where I was. And this puppy needs to get some love. He has not had nearly enough. I started this on... 8, 16, 20. 
it's a year later, it's not a lot of progress. So, um, and I love these long dogs. Um, so, again, too many priorities. Who knows what next year is going to turn out like? Too many priorities. Not enough stitchy time. So, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. we got three more left. Hang in there, everybody. Take a break if you need it. We're almost there. The end is in sight. This is my next project. You guys have seen this one fairly recently. This is uh, Ink Circles. I call it Circles because I can't pronounce that. Kim Ahalbeck was so kind. She translated it for me. She said it's Circus of Circles, which when you look at the project, Circus of Circles is exactly what it looks like. So we'll call it Circus of Circles. I am stitching this on a 28 count. Picture this plus spice. And I am stitching it with a uh, silk oxide uh, from Mrs. Seda Silk. So when you get real up close, you can kind of see all those blue spots. They kind of whack you in the head. But if you come back here, I think it blends in beautifully and from three feet away it's going to be gorgeous hanging on my wall here is where i started uh, i think this was one of those that i did get uh, a start in for no new starts um because i'd had it in my stash and i wanted it to to go um and i got a little bit of work on it so we will keep chugging along. This is one, I don't really do a lot of color management on this. What I do do is I kind of look at the piece of, because it's variegated, the, the thread is variegated. And so I look, what's coming up? Do I have a lot of orange? Is there a lot of blue? Is, you know, and so, and then I kind of look at my pattern where I'm stitching and I kind of go, oh, there's a lot of orange here. So let's get the blue end and we'll come at, at it through the blue end. So it feels very mixed. There's not big sections of color. I want it all very mixed. So that's the only um, kind of color controlling that I'm doing on that project. Very minimal, just really being aware of where I'm placing the next thread and what's coming up. You guys have seen this one fairly recently as well. Um, this is Winter Snowfall from Shannon Christine Designs. Love this. I am stitching this on Sterling from Picture This Plus. And I am stitching it two over two. Again, I think this was when I started for No New Starts. So you will see a picture to see where I came from. Um, and I got a little bit of work on this done. So we'll keep chugging away on it. Again, not a huge focus piece. That's just one that's nice to pick up um, when you're in the mood um, for a little bit of white stitching. Um, I am, yeah, I'm stitching this two over two. So, uh, so that that white will pop off um, of that fabric. And my last project, which you guys have seen fairly recently, last full coverage. This is Trimming the Tree by Randall Spangler, Heaven and Earth Designs. Love this one, love these little dragons. I am stitching, I gotta look for my notes. I am stitching this on 20 count easy grid. Um, one over two, and you guys have seen all this. So there's the before and after, love it. So super happy with the way this one's coming out um, and would love to keep working on it. So that's it, that is all the projects that I have going in to 2022. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it wasn't too torturous. Oh, let me show you the bag. What am I thinking? Hello. 
Um, I know St. Patrick's Day doesn't really make me think of that, but this project has a ton of green and this green bag makes me go, oh yeah, that's the green, that's the trimming the tree. So, um, so here we are. That's where I am at at the end of 2021. Amazing. Um, I think I got a lot of good stitching in. As I wrap up my December numbers, I'll be able to give you total numbers um, for the year of stitching. Um, and I may go back because I'm really interested to know how much got put into each project. Um, I keep it all on paper. There's nothing digital, so it would take me a little bit of time to kind of sort through it. But, you know, what else do you have to do, right? Right. So, as I'm wrapping up No New Starts, what did I love? What did I hate? What was irritating? Surprising things, just for those of you who might be going into 2022 at, with No New Starts. I am not doing No New Starts, not because I didn't love it, because I did. It was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I needed. I didn't want to start anything. I wanted to work on the projects. I have a few projects more than a few. I have a lot of projects kitted up, waiting in the wings. Do I have any plans to start anything? Even I can start on Monday, anything I want, because it's over. Am I starting anything? Probably not. Probably not till the new year. Probably do a new year start. It's probably going to be a full coverage. I've probably got it narrowed down to about three in my head and we'll just have to see what happens on that day. Um, I have a lot ready. I am in no hurry. I am loving stitching on my whips. This has been perfect. Um, I think the thing that I love the most, and hopefully you guys will understand this, is I started out with this goal to complete. I didn't meet many of the other goals that I had started out. I wanted to do the monthly challenges for... Uh, full coverage fanatics and I made it to about June and then that fell off. I did complete my 21,000 in 2021. I will be doing 2020, 22 in 22, which we'll talk about in plans later on. Um, I just wanted to complete this. I just wanted to get through the year and meet the goal of not starting anything. I did use one free start to make my, uh, the small that I did for um, the first retreat that I went to because I wanted to have that as a nice memory. So I did use that, which, which is fine. It's all within the rules, but I actually completed it. And so it's the sense of completion that I like and the, you didn't give up on your goal. You stuck with it, you kept going. And really for the most part, I did not even miss not starting anything. I didn't. I got a little bug in November when I started to kit up, maybe end of October, beginning of November. I got a little bit of bug, but once I got everything kitted up, I was just like, all right, move along and, and get back into your whips. And it was great. It's been wonderful. So if you are doing No New Starts 2022, you will. I hope that you have the success that I had. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I hope you find it beneficial for your whips. I hope you complete as many projects as you can, because ultimately that's what it's about. It's about us working on these projects and getting stitches in and uh, getting things completed um, and enjoying the process. I'm a process stitcher and I did enjoy the process. So thank you very, very much. If you have hung with me this whole time, um, it's been a success in my book. I hope it was a success. I hope you think it was a success in my book. Um, cause I do think it was, um, it was super fun to, um, wrap it up with this and show the befores and afters. Um, that would be fun. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great week and don't forget, keep stitching those big things. <laughs>